Adding a new seat cushion and fresh fabric to a dated wood chair is a great way to bring it back to life. Here, Matthew Haley, owner of the furniture joint, an upholstery studio in New York City, demonstrates how to reupholster a simple dining room chair. So the tools that you need to do this small project is uh, all which you can purchase from an upholstery supply place. You'll need a pair of pincers, which you can get at any hardware store. And then you will need some type of stapling apparatus. So the best one to use would be the air compressed staple gun. Uh, the next one down from that would be an electric staple gun that has a nose on it. And then uh, the most cost effective one would be the magnetic tacking hammer with some Tax. Unscrew the seat base from the chair frame. If the base is in good condition, remove the old fabric, using an awl and pliers to pry away the staples holding it down. If the seat base is too worn, cut a new one from half-inch plywood. To do this, either trace the old base or measure the seat frame and mark the wood with the dimensions minus about an eighth inch all the way around. Cut the wood with a jigsaw. For the cushioning, use a high-density foam that's at least one inch thick. Trace the seat base onto the foam and then cut it out. Stick the cushioning to the wood with a fast drying spray adhesive made especially for foam. To give it a slightly rounded shape, spray the edges with the glue, wait a few seconds until it gets tacky, then fold the top edge over and stick it to the seat base. Once the foam dries, cover it with a half inch layer of Dacron polyester batting to act as a buffer between the fabric and the foam. Attach the batting to the seat base with a staple gun. Start by stapling the center of each side of the seat, then work your way around, pulling the batting tight as you go. When choosing your fabric, make sure to opt for something that's upholstery or home decor weight and not stretchy. So we're going to be using a 12 fabric today. Cut the fabric to the seat base's dimensions, plus 4 inches all around. If you use a pattern, center it on the chair before cutting the fabric. So once I've cut out my piece of fabric, I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going, to mark, I'm going to make a notch on the front and the back of the piece in the center, like so, like so, so that I can line that up with the center of my seat. Pulling the fabric as taut as possible, attach it to the seat base with the staple gun the same way you attach the batting. To hide the plywood and the fabric's raw edges, Cut a dust cover to the seat's dimensions out of the black cambric fabric and staple it to its underside. Finally, screw the seat back down to the chair frame. Now you're free to sit back and relax. Mm -hmm.